Hey Kids Life, welcome to our series, Rise Up. It's Easter, and let's be honest, who doesn't love Easter? There's chocolate, like so much chocolate. But even better than chocolate is the story behind Easter. It's the most important time of year for the people who believe in Jesus. It's the good news, it's our salvation, it's God's perfect plan for a relationship with Him. So Kids Life, grab your hiking boots and pitch a tent, because it's time to summit through the story of Jesus who rose from death and gives us everything we need to journey in life. This month, we're learning how the miracle of Jesus' resurrection strengthens us and changes our relationships with God and with others in the best way possible. Each week, we will have a chance to put these ideas in our backpack and carry with us always. Isn't that the best news? That the promises we have in Jesus are the ones that we will always have. And guys, we have a brand new memory verse for you. It's found in Romans 10:9. If you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Okay, Kids Life, it's time to check out what our friends are doing in Grow TV. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm... And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hello, and welcome there, kiddos. Welcome to Grow TV. Hope you all are doing well. I just want to start off by introducing someone special, <laughs> Mr. Knuckles. So, say hello, Mr. Knuckles. Hello, everybody. I would say it's good to see you, but I don't have real eyes. <laughs> You're so funny, Mr. Knuckles. <coughs> What's up? You right, Vanessa? Oh, sorry, that's my bad. Uh, let's say hello to my real friend, Vanessa. Hello! Say hello! Say hello, don't be rude, yes? Say hello. I don't think they can hear you. Oh, really? Well, okay. Say hello to Vanessa! No, because they're watching on screen. Oh, <laughs> got it, sorry. No worries. Thanks for having me, Carl. I'm super happy to be here. And we're happy to have you. <laughs> What's that? I haven't heard that sound in ages. That means we got some super secret mail. Super secret mail? What does that mean? It means exactly that. The piece of mail is super secret. So close your eyes. Wait, what? Super secret mail only shows up when you close your eyes super tight. Okay. Wow! <laughs> super secret mail. Wow. Told you. Now let's see what's in here. I have no idea what's in here. Whoa! This is earth shattering. What did it say? I can't believe this. Why? Who? How? What? Ha! Ah! Are you gonna tell me? I can't. It's super secret. And even if I were to tell you, I can't. Because it's super secret. And the message would freak you out. Just let me look. What? I told you. I'm kidding. I already knew this. Did you not know? Of course not. Not that you did either. Of course I did. It's in the Bible, Carl. Excuse me? I mean, come on. It's the big thing in the Bible. Open up your Bible, Carl, to the book of Mark, chapter 16. It's talking about how the two Marys in Siloam went and bought spices to visit the place where Jesus was buried. Now, what kind of spices do you think they bought? Cayenne pepper? Smoked paprika? Or maybe something like Tony's Cajun? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can safely say it wasn't any of those. It was the spice people used to honor the people they loved in those times. Oh, that makes more sense. It says that they went to the tomb and the big rock in front of the tomb was rolled away? Wait a second. Wasn't it supposed to be covered? Yes, sir. But that day was a whole lot more different than any other. You see, there was a man sitting there in a white robe where Jesus' body should have been laying. What? Jesus wasn't there? Somebody moved the body? Keep reading. Says the ladies were alarmed, but the man said they shouldn't be. He said Jesus was risen? Keep reading. Okay, then the man told them that they needed to tell the disciples that Jesus has risen up and that he is head of the Galilee, just like Jesus had said before. What in the world? Told you so. How in the world did I never know this? My whole life I've lived not knowing that Jesus rose from the dead? No way, Carl. You've known about this for a while. What are you talking about? I can never forget such an important thing. You always said that you're a pretty forgetful guy. Don't you remember always saying that? I don't, you, oh, yeah, you're right, okay. It's just that I've loved Jesus my whole life because I know how good he is and how much he loves me. But I forgot how much. I mean, he died. Yes. And then he rose again. Yes, again. It's so unbelievable that I forgot. 
What do you mean? Well, we forget amazing things all the time. The fact that we can make noises with our mouth and people can understand. The fact that we're living on a giant rock that's floating through a huge amount of space. And that the Son of God died for us and rose three days later. All because he loves us. How awesome is that? It's very awesome. It's very easy to take all these wonderful truths for granted because they've always been there. I'm so glad we had this super secret mail to remind us today. Cause really this message shouldn't be super secret. We should tell everybody. I agree. I love what that piece of mail said. Wait, I forgot what it said. What did it say? <laughs> it says Jesus overcame death. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's awesome. Not only is that great news, but that's our big idea. <laughs> Today's big idea is Jesus overcame death. So let's say it out loud to the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus overcame, overcame death. death. Yeah. <laughs> you sure did, right? Right. Right. Well, I learned a lot today. I'm glad. Oh, look, I found another envelope. Oh, really? What does it say? It says there's something on Carl's sweater. Huh? I don't see. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. See you next week, kids. Yeah, whatever, Vanessa. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Welcome back, his life. So, Peter's story teaches us about how loving and forgiving Jesus is, even when we mess up in the worst ways. Jesus is there for us. Peter messed up pretty bad. When Jesus was arrested, Peter, one of his best friends, acted like he didn't even know him. Peter was scared and worried that if he said that he knew Jesus, that he would be arrested too. Instead, Peter denied even knowing who Jesus was. This hurt Jesus a lot. Imagine one of your closest friends rejected you when you needed them the most. Peter felt really bad about what he had done, and he didn't even get a chance to talk to Jesus about it before he died. When Jesus rose again and appeared to his disciples, Peter was so excited that he'd get to see his friend again. After they'd eaten breakfast together, Jesus gave Peter the special mission of looking after all of the followers of Jesus. Not only did Jesus forgive Peter, he made him one of the most influential people in church history. Jesus wanted Peter to know that he was forgiven. Jesus encouraged Peter and told him there was a plan for his life, even though he had done something disappointing. Jesus is full of mercy and encouragement even when we mess up. That's why we should have mercy for others. Okay, Kids Life, before we go, let's say our big idea together. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus gives, gives encouragement. encouragement. See you next week, kids. <laughs>